I am at the office and uh, you know from meeting my international visitors and uh, local visitors and thought maybe I should use this opportunity to talk to you a little bit. In the first place, PF cadres and PF members. I see now that they are the champions of social media. I must give you uh, that credit because you have really won the battle. You are really doing well on social media. The two posts that I've made today, we have really come in numbers to fight, <laughs> to attack, you know, to defend your party. And uh, I just want you to know that I'm used to insult. Insult, don't, don't scare me. You started insulting me from the day I started fighting PF and we, I went ahead and fought and where are you with your insult? Your insult you dealt nothing. You lost the election, not just losing the election, you lost the election terribly. In those days when uh, we were using social media to campaign for HH, we were calling us a uh, officer. Ma'am, we are calling us a uh, uh, social media, <laughs> social media people. Today you have dominated. You are now the champion of social media. You won't, you don't even want us to express our opinion. You don't want us to say what we, what we observe. So you have really won, and this is a. Uh, all thanks go to UPND government for allowing you to uh, for allowing you to grow wings. UPND government has really made you so powerful that we can come to social media and talk again in peace. We are now the champion of social media here and the rest of you. But uh, that's by the way. I want to say something that uh, is very important. The UPND government must be very careful with PF. PF is an organization of very crafted human. I mean, very crafted human beings. They have everything it takes in their party. The issue of uh, men sleeping with men and uh, men raping men is really escalated. And I, I'm watching uh, PF guys, including Anthony and the rest of them, telling a church to state his stance on gay rights in Zambia. HH has already made it clear, even before the IMF deal, HH said Zambia is a Christian nation. We are not going to tolerate gayism in Zambia. That's what HH said. He has said it several times. How do you want him to say it again? Someone said there is noise, it's raining. Okay, let me see if I can close the office window.
Uh-huh. Okay. I think it's much better now. The noise on the background is gone. It's raining here. This is raining season in Nigeria. So, HH has already said it before. Time without number. To say, I do not support gayism in Nigeria. All of a sudden, just because men are raping men, just because there was Lusaka July. Everyone have come up again. All the PF, all the opposition is saying, HH, hey, talk about gay. Talk about gay. How many times do you want him to talk about gay? How many times do you want HH hey, to say, I don't support gay? He has said it before, time without number. He said, I do not support gay. The reason why you are pushing him now to speak or maybe to start arresting people of gay and so on and so forth so that IMF will come in conflict with President Etchett. You want to ruin the relationship between UPND government and IMF. You want, when he arrests them, then IMF will say, no, no, you have arrested people, you have infringed human rights, so therefore there will be conflict. He has already said he doesn't support gayism. What do you want? So this is how PF operates. It's just that, uh, unfortunately, they are smarter than the UPND government. From way go. They are very smart. So they have already schemed to say, if we are pushing, let us push, and have HH come hard on gay, come hard, on this uh, sodomizing guys and so on and so forth so that IMF will come in and say okay because we are inflicting on human rights let us cancel the deal that's what PF want there is nothing else if not the president has already said it the president has said it the president said I do not support gayism so you PF people Taking advantage of what you are creating for yourself. You are the one that you are hiring these guys to take pictures, to make videos, men to men, man to man, so that HH will go and arrest them. You are the same people that will come and say, uh -huh, HH is arresting them. IMF, have you seen HH is infringing on human rights? <laughs> if I'm to say, I will say that the president has already made his own declaration to say, I do not support it. And the, the president supported it with his character. He has married a man, a, a woman, not a man. And he has married a woman and loved the woman. He loved his woman. He's not a womanizer, unlike the other guy who was there before him that had more than 56 women all over any any countries he visiting the first thing that he asks is i hope there will be something for me there to sleep with so hh is different he's a man of principle that loved the wife and he has one wife everyone can see it so you guys are trying to spark up fire where there is tell me what what there is a lot of challenges that are facing zambia today you just pick on gay Sata himself supported gay. The owner of PF party, the founder of PF party supported gayism. He, he is a very good uh, a father to me. I worked very hard and very well with him. But he supported gay. When Eddie Galungu came into power, when he was the president, gay couple were, were arrested and put in prison. He pardoned them. So why do you want to make noise? Gay did not start today in Zambia. It has always been there. So why do you want to make noise about it? So that IMF will say, no, now that you want to set a trap. The, the, the foolish thing about the UPND government is that there is no one speaking. 
European government does not have information ministry. And the PF is busy pumping wrong information in people's ears. Pumping wrong information in people's hearts. I posted something today. I was so shocked. People saying the president must speak. How many times do you want the president to speak about gay? He has said it before. He said, I do not support it. Zambia is a Christian nation. And we do not support it. IMF watched that video before. Before they came in to help Zambia. Now you want to start talking about it so that IMF will say, you want to set a trap. HH will now go and start arresting your own people. You are the one that are arranging these boys. HH goes and arrests them. Tomorrow you are the one that will cry. HH has arrested people because they are exercising their right. We know you, PF. You are so crafty. You are so crafty. So when that happened, IMF will pull out. Say, no, we are not going to support this country again because they are, they are, they are infringing in people's rights. And you'll be happy. You are going to come back and say, we told you, IMF has gone. PF people, what is wrong with you? I thought by now you would have repented from all the crimes that you committed against Zambia. Eh? I thought by now you would have humbled yourself. This is one thing. When you have a government that I don't know how to... UPND should be called United Pentecostal National Deliverance Ministry. It's a church. It's not a government. If UPND was a government, by now, there, was not, there, would, there would be nothing like PF. Let me give you an example. The day UPND was leading, election result was not announced yet. Election result was not in yet. Just that it was now clear that HH was winning. The first person that went on his page and apologized to the people of Zambia was Tutuan Glube. He apologized because he was scared because of the things that they committed. He was scared. He was very, very scared because of the things that they committed. Tutwa apologized. The second person that apologized was Freedom Sikazwe. And the first person that cried was Eddie Galungi. The second person that cried was Boman Lusambo. And the list go on. These guys, why were they crying? Why were they shivering? If you watch the, the, the press conference of David Mwila, uh, David, David uh, what is his name? The, the, the former President General of, uh, Secretary General of PF, David Mwila, is it David Mwila or what, what? The one I posted this video. He was shivering. Those days, immediately H8 won election. If you see them, they used to shiver. You know, they used to shiver. They were afraid. Davis Miller said, if we lose election, all of us are going to jail. These guys were afraid. Now, we ushered in a government that we thought was a government, not knowing that we were bringing a church. We were ushering in Jesus Christ and his disciples. The ones that know how to forgive. The ones that know how to pray. The ones that will make heaven. We brought them into power. Thinking that they are going to come and handle these criminals. They came and started preaching. <laughs> do you preach to criminals? I mean, do you, do you preach to criminals? Do you preach to devil? If devil was going to repent, he was going to be repented by now. Devil can never repent. We ushered in a government that is more holier than Holy Spirit. When almost all the ministers and the appointee of the, of the president are corrupt human beings. I don't want to go into that details. I am coming for that. I don't, that one I'm coming. You came in instead of taking care of criminals. 
you allow them. Now they have regrouped. They have regrouped. Now they are very strong. Stronger than you. They, I've never seen an opposition party that is taking a whole government from court to court, from police to police, from here to here. They are not playing with a whole government institution. They take a whole government, carry them, they go to high court. Win them in high court, go to court court. They actually decide the court that they will be taken to. Have you ever seen a government like this one? So that's why I'm saying it's a church. United Pentecostal National Deliverance Ministry. UPND. That's what it stands for. Nothing else. United Pentecostal National Deliverance Ministry. That's what it is. If not, I've never seen. All of a sudden, these guys are now strong. Look at Boman Lusambo. That was crying like a baby. Boman Lusambo that was supposed to be in prison today. is the one that was challenging the president. Telling the president that you are going to meet me in, 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 a, in a Kabushi. I will show you that I'm a bulldozer. And the, a whole president responding to a non-entity like a... Like a Boman Lusambo, responding to an idiot that was supposed to be in prison. The, uh, like I said before, this is a straightforward case. Boman Lusambo, so long as the name was mentioned, there was no need for investigation. This is a murder case. Once arrested, it's non bailable At least Boman Lusambo will be there until a Kabushi election is done. Then he... Maybe UPN, UPN the wins it and Boma Lusambo dies politically. You didn't arrest him. You left him. Today, the person who was crying like a baby yesterday is the one now challenging the president. And UPN is running up and down like a chicken without head. You don't know what to do. You take over power. You want to turn Zambia to, to, to church. You want to rule Zambia with Ten Commandments. Eh? That is not even the case. Like I said, as we speak today, as we talk today, we no longer have uh, we no longer have um, power on social media. Look what is happening. When I post something, see how PF guys come. Are you aware that today something that was supposed to make Every Zambian happy. Every Zambian was supposed to be jumping and shouting hallelujah today. Being a Christian nation. Because the richest guy in the world. Elon Musk. The richest guy in the world. Elon Musk. Through the visit of uh, President H.H. To America. Or where he, where he is now. With Jito. That man has agreed to come and invest in Zambia. Do you know how many billions that is coming to Zambia? I mean, when a whole alien, the richest man, is, he even tweeted it on his own Twitter. Say, I can't wait to come and invest in Zambia. Look, this was supposed to be on all the whole social media page. Muebantu, Zambia Report. Uh, Smart Eagle, Watchdog, Cosway, everywhere it was, there was going to be a very big celebration. This is a milestone achievement, but it has died. No one is talking about it. Because of what? We have lost information as UPND. Any, any, any page you go to, hey, lesbian. Any, any group you go to, hey, lesbian. Hey, homosexual. Hey, this. Hey, that. Forgetting that Today, HH has achieved, HH has scored one of the biggest achievements in the history of Zambia. But who is talking about it? No one is talking about it. Elon Musk is on his way coming to Zambia. Elon Musk is on his way coming to Zambia. But who is talking about it? No one, because PF have managed to capture the social media page. They, they now give people the type of information that they want to hear. When you hear somebody like uh, Antonia, Antonia that was right running up and down, he was hiding. Today he has come out. Because they have seen that 
they have seen that UPND government is weak. Nothing is going to happen. I have seen a uh, uh, campion go saying, we challenge you to show us the thieves. That this is a rubbish, rubbish. This is if this was, a, if I knew that this is the type of leadership we are bringing into power, I, w I was never going to support it. Because this is a, 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 a why we should. A church is Jesus Christ, the forgiver, together with his uh, uh, ministers as the disciple. You came to forgive. You forgave criminals. Why Jesus didn't forgive Satan? Why didn't forgive Satan? Eh? Judas Iscariot sold Jesus and betrayed Jesus. When they came and took Jesus and they crucified Jesus, he realized that what he did was bad. He repented and took the money and, and, and gave it away. He didn't use the money. Even if everything that he did, he regretted it. He was not forgiven. He still committed suicide. And went to hell. So you think that you are better than Jesus. Leaving your enemies behind in the name of prayer. You are making a very big mistake. Let me tell you what is going to happen. Now as we are talking, it doesn't concern me. PF have taken over. Uh, before now, I think it was a, a day before inauguration. Somebody came and said, ha, is it possible that uh, PF can come back to power? I said they can. It's very possible. 100% possible they can. With the type of leadership that we have in Zambia today, these guys can come back at any time. Because as we speak today, they have planted the issue of gay, gay, gay in, in the mind of people. And this is, Zambia is, is a very, uh, Zambia is a very sensitive country. When you talk about foreigners mistreating them or foreigners getting their money, you talk about issue of gay. You talk about, when you mention these two things, they can shock you. They can shock you. Now, PF have prepared an agenda that IMF have come to rule Zambia. Many people are not happy. And there is no information passing out from the Ministry of Information and from the government telling the people the role of IMF in government. People believe to say, ah, now IMF have come to take over. No information at all at all. Just like I'm, just like I'm, I'm from saying now, just like I'm from, I'm, I'm from talking now, Hecate have secured a very big investment coming to Zambia from Elon Musk. The Minister of Information does not even know who is Elon Musk. Ask her who is Elon Musk. And she will tell you, I don't know. Then she's the Minister of Information. How are you going to pass information to people when you don't have information? Eh? So are we playing? Are we joking? The way it is, the way things are going, it will be impossible for UPND to finish one term. I'm saying it will be impossible for UPND to finish one term. The way things are going, it will be very difficult because they don't have information. All the people that HH has employed are after their stomach nothing else they just want to eat they just want to eat nothing else no one is willing to share information no one is willing to pass information they just want to eat that is why in a country where the youths cried they needed a fresh breath they gathered together and put in a government that they thought would favor the youth. That same government came into power and they decided not to work with the youth. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. All of you are hearing about fertilizer deal that is going on now. Eh? 
fertilizer deal that is going on now. Youths of Zambia heard that there is an opportunity for us to tender and win so that when we win, we can remember the people that work with us, the people that campaign with us. They went and borrowed money. They went from here to here, here from here, looking for money and they borrowed money. When they borrowed money, they prepared all the documents and they submitted. When they submitted, out of all the hundreds of companies that submitted, 10 of them won. And they said, okay, each person from these youths and from these people that have won is going to take care of one province. Very good. This youths went ahead to go to the bank and borrow money. The youths went ahead, went to the bank and borrowed money. And, you know, trying to start facilitating. The Ministry of Agriculture came back and said, no, there was corruption in this tender. So therefore, all the tender cancelled. These youths are now waiting for the day they will call them to say, come and resubmit your tender again. Come and resubmit your tender again. What did we hear last Sunday? On Sunday, the government that the youths voted for, Carried the same fertilizer deal and gave it to the Chinese and gave it to Indians and gave it to Mr. Ibrahim, which happened to be a very close friend to President HH. And carried the deal and gave to Alpha Commodity, the husband to the wife of the information minister. Now, tell me, the corruption that we fought in PF, has he not come back in, with full force? It has even come worse. <laughs> it has come, that's what I'm saying. If this thing that goes through, if Mr. Uh, uh, the owner, the, 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 what is his name? Uh, Mr. Ibrahim, the friend to the president gets this tender. Chinese get this tender. Indians get this tender. And the alpha commodity get this tender. The ministry and the minister of agriculture that has already collected bribe. I want to tell you that you have declared the war. And you are going to fight it. We fought for the youth. The reason why we fought for the youth is that so that these youth will come and they have something, give to the community and give to the people. Last year, Alpha Commodity was given a tender single-handedly, given a tender to supply fertilizer worth 50 million US dollars. One man this year again, he has come to win millions of dollars. Is UPND government about Alpha commodity? Is it the only one that campaigned? Did we campaign to continue feeding one family? President HH must look at the Ministry of Agriculture. That minister is a corrupt human being. Let the youths enjoy. Let the youths enjoy. I am saying this because the president is not aware. Sometimes when we pass information, he doesn't even know what is going on. The, the Ministry of Agriculture is a very corrupt human being. I said it before. Zambia, there is a way you behave. Now that the minister... The minister of information is eating millions of dollars.
corrupt millions of dollars. You are not talking about persecution. When he finished winning this tender and supply this and win these millions of US dollars and he eat his, with, with his family, if we come back tomorrow with a different government and that man is arrested, you will say, it's a, this is a, it's being persecuted. It's a persecution. Before you talk about persecution, stop it now. Stop it now. I love UPND. I fought with my blood for UPND. Because I believe that this was the right party. The party that there is no corruption in it. But the corruption I'm seeing right now, what I, what I saw in PF is nothing. It's better we we'll fight it now, early, and put things together before things get out of hand. I'm telling you the gospel truth. There is no way youths who are struggling to survive, we, we scamper to win tender. You come and cancel it and put foreigners and put friends of the president and put alpha commodity. Alpha commodity, my food. Alpha commodity. Did we suffer for him? How many times did he come to campaign when a church was campaigning? When a church was being shot at, when, when youths we are, we are guiding a church in the compounds, trying to take bullets for a church, where were you? You have come to win. Look, you be in the government. We are not fools. We are not fools. When, Ed, when uh, uh, Edgar Lungu got into power, the first scandal he made was the um, purchasing of fire truck. And we talked, and we talked, and we talked, and we talked. And as I know, people forgot it. People, people forget it. People forget it. I even said it. I told, I told the people, even Edgar Lungi himself said, this, let's clear this issue. This thing is going to come back and hurt, it will hurt you. No, no, don't worry, people will forget. The people of Zambia, they easily forget. The time of election, the, everybody kept quiet, nobody talked about it. The time of election, they came, we came with it, we, we expanded it, we held on to it, and pounded and pounded until we made sure that everyone saw the corruption in PF. You see this issue of fertilizer. If you go ahead and give it to your friends, you go ahead and give it to Chinese, using this uh, by Z direct and so on and so forth, that was speaking rubbish the other day. If you go ahead and do this, believe me, you will regret. Do the right thing. Now that, now, you pay the government, do the right thing. Now that there is no fire on the mountain. When fire on the mountain starts, Obasanjo will not save you. Anglo America will run away. All your friends will leave you. You will die in jail. I know what I'm talking about. Do the right thing now. Let the, 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 this young man that suffered be given something out of that fertilizer. Let them be given something. Not only that, there is a lot and a lot of unbelievable things going on that I don't want to come and talk about it here. Because if I talk about it here, what is wrong? Is this what we fought for? Eh? Tell me the mechanism that Alpha Commodity is using to win this contract. What millions? Eh? Tell me. T just mention. Tell me the, the, the medium that is using to win these tenders. Tell me the kind of God is serving. Even if he's using do as I say. The worst part is that you decide to work with Stingy people. UPND government is a stingy. It's a stingy government. And everyone is stingy. Everyone just wants to eat alone. No one wants to eat with his friends. Everyone just wants to live, eat alone. That's why today, if you 
if UPND government, if somebody dies, a UPND member, you go there, what you eat is carpenter. What you eat, don't expect anything more than carpenter. A party in government that the people that were campaigning for them were eating carpenter. Food so dear, we are hungry. Many of them are still being old. Money was not given to them. A party in government. The reason is very simple. You chose to work with stingy people. Alpha commodity is making millions upon millions of dollars, billions of kwacha. How much is he limiting to the party? How much is he bringing? All the people that you are giving contract, all the people that you are giving position, how much are they giving to the party? The white man, the Muzungu, you, you, you used to make your DMMU chairman. I never saw him during the time of campaign. Something like somebody like that never existed. All these guys were just in their bedrooms enjoying immediately won election. Then you come and bring them, you appointed them. They don't know what the party went through, and they don't know how to run the party, and they are selfish. So, therefore, what do they do? They get money for their family, they are not putting money in the party. UPN is broke, it's broke, it's a broke party. There is no money in UPND. It's broke. I try and attend UPND barrier. You lost election in Luangwa. PF was not a party in power. But they took care of their members. They took care of their cadres. They gave them food. Your, your own people. Party in power. Your own people. Party in power. Was eating carpenter. And you think you can finish one thing. If you continue like this, you are you if you you will not let me tell you what will happen. You see, as it stands today, eh? I have received a lot of messages from PF. Not only PF. The socialite party you are seeing today, there is I've received messages. See a one, come and join us. See a one, come and help us. I'm not going to leave you, PND. I'm going to support you. But let me show you what is going to happen. If today, Membe humble himself, KBF humble himself, join hand with PF, UPN is gone. I swear. Take my word. If today, Membe humble himself, KBF, humble himself. All of them join hand with PF. UPN is gone. Because on the ground, on the ground, there is no UPN. There is nothing like UPN. If a whole president would go to Copper Belt and campaign for five days, going into people's house, one after the other, and the response was nothing to write to him about, then, uh, where are we? Where are we? What is the solution? The solution is UPND, open your hand. Stop eating alone. You are making deals alone, opening accounts in different countries. Your party members are suffering. This will cost you big, big. I'm telling you, you see what I, you see me, I'm somebody that loves the truth. I don't just come and tell you, no, everything is okay. Things are not okay. Things are not okay. The first mistake you made was allowing PF to gain ground. Today, PF, even the people that want to leave PF, they don't want to leave again. They are now seeing hope in PF. That's why they are insulting me up and down. They are insulting me everywhere. That's why in, in all the groups, I don't know how they manage to capture everywhere. They are in charge. Today, HH brought in a deal that was going to shake the whole of Zambia. It was going to be all over the news today. The information minister does not know who Elon Musk is. 
not to talk of the details of the project. And she stayed there as information minister. Painting. She, they had duties to go to Ben Lombe. Make her eye, make her, her nails, make her. Of course, why? What? When your husband is the, only, that, the one that have captured the whole government, winning tenders, what, 50 million US dollars, 60 million US dollars, what do you want again? I was watching, uh, I was uh, 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 reading where the vice president said things are okay. I don't blame people. You know, when you are. You don't pay your rent. You don't. Uh, you don't. You don't buy electricity. You are not among the people that lost billions and millions, millions upon millions, to contest under UPND and lost. Now you don't have anything. Everything is okay for you. So things are okay. I, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to argue with you. Things are okay, Mama Vice President, and the Mama. Mama fashionist, the information minister. You are the one that's supposed to be right now talking about blowing the trumpet. The president has scored huge. The president has scored huge. But who is talking about it? When you are bringing the richest man in the world, Elon Musk, to come to your country, he may come there because President HH knows how to talk. He knows how to lure people. He may come there, President H.H. H. lures him to put up a car plant there. It will be the first or maybe the second in Africa. South Africa will come to Zambia and buy a car. Uh, neighboring countries, Malawi, they will come there and buy a car from Elon Musk. That is billions of dollar investment coming to Zambia. But no one is talking about it. Everywhere you go, gay, 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 gay. I don't blame people that we are fighting for UPND. We fought for greedy people. Before I started working with PF, uh, with UPND, like I said before, PF leaders used to come to my house and tell me, do you know the people you are working with? <laughs> do you know the people that you are supporting? The day I exposed the, some of these people that was coming to me, the, the, the former mayor of Kasama, you know what he told me? He, he called me, says, see, I, want, I heard that you have exposed me. But I want to let you know that the people that you are working with are greedy. So me, I thought it was a joke. But I've seen it. If there are greedy people, if there is a greedy government that I've never seen, it's UPND. Where when someone holds on to something, they hold on to it without sharing with their friends. They hold on to it when they see where they want to go in alone. Alone. People that suffer, President H.H. H. was saying, uh, youths must wake up, you know, wake up and fight. There is no need for Kasantin. Yes, I know a lot of youths that have woken up since UPN the one election, opening company, traveling, going to so many countries, looking, source, looking for a way to survive. They have done all those things and they have come. Door is closed for them. No one cares. Everyone is eating alone. Everyone is eating alone. No one loves UPN the more than see one. And there is no one that sacrificed for this party in this last election more than Sia one. Because sometimes I used to go and broadcast from a hotel. Sometimes from the bush. There is nothing that I did not do for this party. Because of the love that I have for it. If I don't tell you the truth, no one will tell you the truth. The ministers, they have opportunity. They are, they, are, they are keeping it with their families alone. The permanent secretaries, they are putting, keeping it with their families alone. Top party leaders, they are keeping it with their families alone. And when people react, you, want, you, you come and fight them. Thank God. I don't care. Whether you treat me well, you don't treat me well, that is your own cup of tea. Oh, oh, uh, 
One year and a half is almost gone. Three years is remaining. We shall come and we shall uh, we shall compare notes. But I'm saying the minister of agriculture, you corrupt human being. Don't play with the youths. Give the youth something. There is no way you are going to prosper foreigners. Because they have a fertilizer plant in Zambia. You, 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 when you give them one billion, the money will not be in Zambia. The money will leave Zambia. Those people, will, they don't even care about your party. They don't even know your cadres. This is one of the greatest mistakes that President H.H. made. Appointing people and favoring people who do not even know who the cadres are. If you proceed with that uh, agriculture, that fertilizer deal, eh? you give to Alpha Commodity, you give to uh, Mr. Ibrahim, the friend of the president, you give to uh, this other Chinese uh, uh, company, you also give to this Indian company. We will allow you. I, I'm not going to talk about it again. We'll wait. But I want to assure you that you are going to spend the rest of your life in a prison in the next few years. Not 10 years. If you continue like this, before 10 years, you'll be cooling off in prison. President HH, I want to give you one advice before I go. My brother, my father, you know that I love you so much and I don't want any problem for you. Before you became the president of Zambia, you were hated so much. I mean, you were hated. By then, there was no crime at all. But you were hated. They put you in prison for days. Everyone spoke, they did not listen. You didn't commit any crime. Now, what is going to happen when you finish your turn? And because of the way your ministers are treating people, because of the way your, your ministers are dealing with the youth because of the way your ministers are treating your cadres. What will happen after you hand over to somebody who is not a PF member, who is not a UPND member? They are going to arrest you and you spend the rest of your life in prison. Why? Because you are sitting down allowing your ministers to misbehave. The minister of agriculture is corrupt. The minister of agriculture is corrupt. How do you go ahead and award the tender when there is a court injunction that is coming up this Thursday? That tender that you signed on, 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 on Sunday within a space of five days you have you have managed to source suppliers and you think that people are fools you think that we are fools that rubbish will not happen we will not entertain it prepare yourself to start fighting me because i'm ready use uh, uh, I, will, uh, I, I i i i i might use anything that you have at your disposal to get ready to fight me. We are not going to allow rubbish to happen in this government. Because we fought for it. The youths fought for it. And they are coming to my inbox to complain. They are coming to my inbox to cry. And they are not going to allow them to cry. It's not going to happen. The right thing must be done. The people that you appointed. The PSCs. They are. They are. They are corrupt. Very corrupt human beings. Before it gets out of hand, when you come back from USA, handle it properly. Handle it with care. 
make sure that your how can of all the whole people, all the whole youth that suffered, Mr. Ibrahim, that happens to your friend, is one of the people that are going to. And to make the matter worse, the prices that these guys are putting in their tender is very high compared to what these youths are putting in their tenders. And they win the tender. What type of logic is there? Let's not go there. We have already made the greatest mistake in life. Of handling PF with kid gloves. We have made mistake. By now, PF was going to be deregistered. Tutuan Glube. You have made, imagine Tutuan Glube. You have made Tutuan Glube a star. Tutuan Glube cannot win a court case against myself. I'm saying without a lawyer. I stand on the dock. Tutu and Glube can never win a case against me. Today you have made him a star. Imagine Tutu and Glube carrying government from court to court. That is your, you made, you cost it. If you did the right thing by now, Tutu and Glube was even going to be, be in prison. Because he was the one that was inciting the police to break the bones of the youths that were protesting legally. So what is that? Inciting of violence or proposing violence. Is it not a crime? So they have seen that you guys are weak. Look at Goma Nusambo that was crying. He was challenging the president. Eddie Galungu that was crying. Today he go to church, he dance because they have seen that UPND is a chicken, is a chicken political party fighting a lion. UPND is a church. Campiongo. All these guys that we are hiding before. Imagine David, uh, David Smuila, who was shaking. You know, he was shaking. The, 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 uh, what is his name? The, David, the, the, the Secretary General of PF, former Secretary General. He was shaking. He was hiding. Give him Lubinda. PF that was at the, at the edge of breaking into pieces. Today have united. And they are fighting you and they are attacking you mercilessly. They are planning to form government. Now they are even having sponsors. People are investing in PF. They are even sending me a message. See, I want to join them. Because they have seen hope that actually they can bounce back to power. Because of your mistake. You think that politics... If that time when all the whole people of Zambia were saying, arrest them, arrest them, put them in prison. Them. If, if you arrested them those days, many of them we are going to confess inside prison. Many of them we are going to turn into state witness in prison. Somebody like Boman Lusambo was going to confess in prison. From there, now what have you even achieved with your corruption? Nothing. Because now they have seen that you are nothing. You are absolutely nothing. If I, if me, if I can be given one day to decide, one day to decide, believe me, PF, PF will be a forgotten story. And you had the, the support of the people of Zambia. When 2.8 million people voted you into power, they voted you because, you know, they supported you. If you carried them that time when it was hot, hot, and put them in prison, many of them today, as we speak, we are going to confess in prison where they put the money. They will turn to state witnesses from prison there. And you use it for your own good. Hmm? But the problem you have was that, no, let us treat them one like brothers and sisters. And inside their heart, they were laughing at you. You we are treating them with uh, 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 you we are praying for them. <laughs> you are not politician, you are men of God. Why you don't open a church and leave politics for people that are serious with politics? Nonsense. The way I love UPN there. What I see them, when I see them going through this, I say, child, selfishness is a, selfishness is a killer. When you eat alone, 
you will die alone. Take care of yourself. I didn't even want to talk. Sorry for talking.